Unique Square today to teach you how to build up a white noise in Ableton Live. So white noise uh, buildups, they happen pretty commonly in electronic music and a lot of times they're just used to build sort of heightened anticipation or set up the transition for a track. It's a fun little trick you can use so that you're not constantly reversing drum hits to set things up and things like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit shift command T and create a MIDI track. Uh, if you're not using an Apple, you would do shift control T. Uh, and now that I've got that, I will just go up here and we're going to use the analog synth that comes with the Ableton suite, which uh, there are plenty of other synths that can do this. All that you really require is some kind of white noise. But what I like about analog is it actually has this noise oscillator specifically, which has a fantastic uh, color control and just really is good for this trick, doing it quick and dirty. Um, once you have your track selected here, we've got 13 analog. Uh, I've grabbed all of the bars that I want to fill up with the track, and I'm going to actually hit Shift, Command, Control if you're on PC again, and then M, and that's going to create a MIDI clip. So inside that MIDI clip, I can actually just reach inside of it and drag a note out for the duration of the piece there. And what that'll give me is the ability to just let that note. But I'm actually going to do a number of transitions. So since I want the note to repeat, I'm going to, rather than have one big looping figure of it hang, I'm going to have four times where so that we can go in each time and build the noise as we see fit. So I'm going to enable the filter. Now you'll notice this noise is a bit percussive um, and it's a bit low. I want to have a little bit more color here. I'm going to set this up as... That's kind of the noise that I want, but what I really want is to get rid of this percussion sound. So I'm going to take the decay and the sustain. I'm going to raise the sustain and shrink the decay. And now we'll have. So it's still percussive at the front, but that's not gonna matter because when the note is being activated, we're not gonna see it. So if you're not familiar with working with automation curves in Ableton, uh, what you have here is you've got if you select it, it will actually toggle that line into being right there. So if I want to edit the color, I can just start right there. And right now it's got sort of an approximate position there that matches up where we've got the knob at. So to set it up, for example, the very first line, I can actually just have it go up about yay high. So that'll go. You hear the noise? Sort of a slow, swell, ocean kind of a sound. And then, unfortunately, because I haven't adjusted this, that would have just sort of kept going. So here we can actually choke it off, and it'll drop off right there at the beginning of the next clip. So you sort of just see the basic uh, kind of noise build. Now, if we really wanted to have a more intense one come in for this second round, which we do, because there's not much point, we're gonna let that same noise control that we did with just the color of the noise, it's gonna actually get higher this time, but we're also going to go back and revisit that filter component that I touched a little bit there, and we're gonna give it its own sort of uh, take on the figure. Now, I don't want to close down the filter in the first patch, so I'm going to just create my own little setup here and now it's going to go really high. And because I want it to have a little extra kick so that it's not just a second adjustment of the color, we're actually gonna add some resonance to the filter as it climbs, but we don't want it to go all the way or it'll just sort of tear your ears off as it rises. So now for the second noise with those filter controls, so you've got frequencies climbing all the way, resonance is climbing most of the way. Um, let's do 67%. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, and so you see that one's a little bit more um, <clears throat> hypersonic-ish in nature, uh, the way the sound is. I don't know what the word is I'm looking for there, but it's hyper and it's louder and it's shrieky and it's just got more resonance, so it kind of shrieks at the top there. So the first one, uh, the resonance is actually just the same the whole way through. There's nothing to it. Much more basic noise.
And those both sound kind of unnatural the way they just sort of stop right there. Like it's just uh, the noise kind of deadens. So one fun thing to do or one thing that I like to do is to throw some kind of delay at the end just so that you've got a little bit of a trail, something more natural so that, that noise isn't completely disappearing. So in the case of the really shrieky noise, the way that would play out is... And another fun trick is to just put some kind of hit over the top right there to sort of bang things in. Uh, I like to do a lot of dragging and dropping when I'm working with Ableton uh, in the most basic ways. And so we've got all these uh, one-shot samples that I have from one of my favorite sample collections from Loop Masters, which is actually the uh, Wave Alchemy Drum Tools uh, set. But uh, maybe we can try to find a... Uh I'm not really feeling the cymbals today, so how about a clap? There we go, I like that one, that'll be just fine. So we'll use it, and right here, as the rest of the noises come out, we'll put that, and we don't want it to sound bizarre, so we'll do maybe, maybe one more of these delays. Maybe that's not the perfect sound, but you generally get the idea. You set up the build, and then you can put a hit up at the top of the build, and then you've got sort of a transition figure, and that's no drum roll. So you can actually save yourself some steps, keep things minimal, and save the drum rolls for when it really counts, but still have transitional figures building. When we come back next time, I will show you how to sidechain that same uh, white noise build so that it can pump a little bit more underneath the mix. And until I see you then, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, this is Lonely Paul with Tips and Tricks. And for the best prices on all the plugins like Massive and the Moog, uh, Slim Fatty that you see making the noises in this tutorial, don't forget to visit us over at uniquesquared.com and call us with any questions you have about the purchase or visit us over at the blog for any questions you have about how to use things. We've got a Q&A page until we get our new forum in. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Lonely Paul.